Hi boys and girls. In this video, I want to show you how you can keep up with your own account for the library. When I hover over my name up here, it gets bigger and I can click on it. And I have a little menu that tells me all kinds of things about my checking out history and what I've currently got on deck. So I can click on checkouts and see that I have two books checked out. This is important to know because currently we can only have three books checked out. So I know I am almost finished with this book and I've got this book ready to start and we're I'm not going to be eight o'clock. I'm not going to be in school for a week, so I want to go ahead and put another book on hold and then I'll bring this book back when I'm ready to start reading this book over here that I don't have yet. But I'm gonna have it because I can also check and see that I've got two books on hold. So I know that Mrs. Griffin is gonna check one of these books out to me and then I'll have my three books checked out. The find tab is for if a book has been damaged beyond repair, you'll have to pay for the book, or if you lose the book, you'll also have to pay for it. So those will show up here, and that'll um, be closer to the end of the year when we start collecting all of the books. The favorite tab is kind of fun because every time I search for books, I wanna put books on, I wanna favorite books that I think I might want to check out at some other time. A lot of times, this is a topic that I'm interested in, like cooking, obviously, but right now I want to read a biography and not a cookbook or a book about food. So I'm going to favorite it because it looks interesting and I want to come back to it later. The other reason to put books on in your favorites list is because it's a book that you would put on hold if it was in the library and it's not, it's out. And so I don't want to forget that I had run across that book. 85 books is probably a pretty big favorites list, but there's nothing wrong with having hundreds of books on your favorites list because it gives you a place to start every time you want to put a book on hold. So that's how we'll use the little student menu to keep up with our checkouts, our holds, our finds, and our favorites. Let me know if you've got any questions.